y'all, Fozzie here from Great Motorcycle Rides Washington. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the 07 Sportster issue one more time. Just because uh, some people didn't seem to quite understand the last video, I suppose. But anyhow, the 07 Sportster was losing power and only running on one cylinder. We went through the diagnostic process there with the scope and all that. It came down to, uh, this was the problem right here. Here's the culprit. Yep, the ECU. So the injector driver in that ECU was not firing, so had to get it fixed. Obvious answer, I need a new ECU. Well, that was a lot more of a challenge than at first I thought, right? Simple. Call up the Harley dealer and uh, have them order you up an ECU. Well, the first dealer I called didn't have one, but they told me a couple other dealers did, so to start the round robin process. Call the other dealer, yep, they got one for sure. Now, I want them to ship it to me, but guess what? No, nope. they won't ship it to me because of the COVID pandemic and all this weird stuff. I'm not on their approved list of people to ship it to because they've had problems with fraud and other stuff. So I get off the phone with them, call back the other dealer, the local neighborhood dealer, and uh, they don't really want to order it from another dealer. But finally, after a bunch of cajoling, I get them to do it. So they order it up, part comes in finally. Oh, this, took, this was an involved process. I can't tell you how many phone calls. But eventually we get it there. I run up to the dealer, grab the ECU, come on back, throw it in the bike. I know that it has to be flashed. That's the big problem I have with uh, computer bikes, right? The computers come shipped with no memory in them. So install the ECU, uh, to get, put the bike on a trailer, and then off we go to tow it up to the dealership to get it flashed. They quoted me 58 bucks to flash it, right? No problem. So I get up there, offload the bike. They don't want to touch it because it's got a new part in it. So I have to put the old one back in it. And then I push it in there. And service manager is telling me, well, now it's going to be 241 bucks because the charge for installing the ECU. And I'm like, what? What? You told me 58 to flash it. Yes, but we have to install the ECU, they say. All right, so... Now I'm telling them, well, why so much? And they're like, well, it's two hours. Two hours. Well, on this 07 Sportster, all you have to do is lift up the seat, man. And the seat's not even bolted down all the way because I didn't bolt her down. Well, he says, just a minute, I got to go talk to the technician. So off he goes to talk to the tech. He comes back. He goes, yeah, the ones under the seat are really easy. Uh, yeah, you're right. It'll be 58 bucks. Okay, done deal. It goes in. They get it flashed, all that. Bring it back out. Hey, well, it's still only running on one cylinder. Well, guess what? I asked him, did you did you guys look at the injector plugs? Because I was testing it, and they may not be plugged in. Nope, we just flashed it, and then it was still running on one cylinder. All right. So I go out to the bike, get down there, find the injector plug, plug it in. Boom. It's perfect. Fixed. Running on both cylinders. Put the thing back up on the trailer and trailer at home, and she's been running great ever since. You know, I just hate the issue that these ECUs come not flashed. I mean, I don't know why I can't order it with the memory in it. You just drop it in the bike. It should be plug and play. I mean, this is 2021, right? But anyhow, needless to say, this ECU here was all that was wrong with the Sportster. Got our new one. Put it in. The thing's running great. So uh, back out on the highway. See you soon. Stay safe. Uh, see you in the wind.